Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this super cute little mini cow. This little guy is a really low sew pattern. The only thing that we will be sewing on is going to be the arms, the mouth, and the ears. Everything else is worked into this project. So let's go ahead and get started on this cute little guy. The materials you will need are a six millimeter hook, a pair of scissors, a darning needle or a tapestry needle, and some stitch markers. You're also going to need some 12 millimeter safety eyes, and we'll also need a little bit of stuffing as well. So the main body color that we will be using is this Baby Bee Snugs and Kisses yarn in the color Soft Snowflake. And it is a weight six bulky yarn. So it is important to remember that if you choose a yarn that is thinner, then your product will be smaller. And if you choose a yarn that is thicker, then your product will be bigger. For the accent colors, I will be using this Purple Sweet Snuggles Light color by Loops and Threads in the color Metal violet. Again, it is a weight six super bulky yarn. To start our project, we're going to start off making his little feet. So we are going to start with our purple color here or our accent color, whichever color you're choosing to be the paws, the horns, the mouth. And to start, we're going to make a magic ring. To show you how to do that, we're just going to place the yarn end over our fingers like so. And we're going to loop around our three fingers until we come back to this other side. And now we're going to make a little X there. So this is how it looks now. You're just holding that end there so that it doesn't go anywhere. Now we're going to take our hook. We're going to go under that first one. We'll pull up that second one. And we'll create a little loop here just by pulling that through. So now we're just going to twist it. So that's it. So now it's twisted loop. And we're going to go back to that strand that we're working with here and pull it through that little loop we just made. Now we can let go of everything. And now we have a magic ring. So I'm just going to pull this tail out here. And I'm just going to tighten that little circle there. So now we have our magic ring. And now we're going to place four single crochet into the magic ring. So we're going to go into our ring, pull up some yarn. Now we have our two loops, yarn over and pull that through those two loops. So we have our first single crochet on our magic ring. We're going to place four of those now. So that's our first one. Pull up a loop, pull through two. That's our second one. Insert, pull up a loop, pull through two, third one, and one more, go into our ring, pull up a loop, pull through two. Now we have four single crochets on our magic ring. Now we're going to pull on our little tail here on our magic ring and close that up. Don't pull too tightly though, because then it makes it harder to work in this first stitch. So what I also like to do is just wiggle this around a little bit to loosen up these stitches so that I can get my hook in that first stitch. For the next round, we're going to increase in every stitch. So we're going to go into this first stitch here. And we're going to place a single crochet. Yarn over, pull through two. That's our first stitch of the round. So what we're going to do is take our little stitch marker and mark that stitch so that we know that this is the first stitch of this round two. We're going to go back into that same stitch right here, pull up a loop and place another single crochet. So now we have two single crochets in that first one. We're going to go into our next single crochet, pull up a loop, pull through two, we're going to place another single crochet in that same stitch. So now that's two stitches in that one. So we have four right now. We need eight. So here, go into the next stitch, place a single crochet, place another one in the same stitch, 
And in our last stitch here, place one and two. So now we have eight stitches in our round. And now what we're going to do is do a little color change into our main body color. To do that, we're going to insert into this first stitch that we made. We're going to pull up a loop, but we're not going to finish it with a purple. Instead, what we're going to do is grab our main body color and we're going to use the main body color to finish the stitch. So we yarn over on that color and we pull it through those two loops. So now we have our little white tail here and we still have this working purple tail that we are going to cut now because we're done with that. So go ahead and just cut this wherever you like. You can pull on the magic ring tail as well if you want to just tighten that up a little bit. But don't pull too tight, it might snap the yarn. So now we're on our first stitch of our next row. We're going to take our little stitch marker out. And we're going to place it through that stitch that we just made. Now we're on row three. And all we're just going to do is single crochet all the way around and we'll have eight single crochets in this round. So we're going to go into our next stitch, place a single crochet, and our next one, single crochet. That's two, and eight. Now we can see this little paw is starting to form, but it is inside out right now. So what we need to do is just turn that little guy right side out. And what I also like to do with all of these tails, they provide great stuffing, but they do get in the way. So I just stuff them right in there into that paw so that we don't have to be bothered by them in our project here. So I just stuff them right in there like that. All right, so now we're just going to do one more round of single crocheting around with eight single crochets. So we're gonna go into this first stitch of the last round, place a single crochet, take our stitch marker out, and place that into the first one. So our next stitch we're gonna place a single crochet is right here. This one was the start of our previous round and it doesn't count as a stitch because if you go in this stitch right here, then you'll end up with nine stitches on this next round and we don't want nine, we just want eight. So we're gonna skip where we joined our white and our purple here. We're just gonna go into this next one and place our start our single crochets. So now we have one, two stitches, three, four, five, and eight. There's our final stitch there. So this is our first little leg here, and we're just going to go ahead and place a slip stitch into that first stitch of the last round. So we're gonna insert our hook, pull up a loop, and we're gonna take that loop and pull that through the loop that is on our hook. So now we just have that one single loop here. Now what we're going to do is just go ahead and cut this first tail here. And we're going to take that loop and we're just going to keep pulling until the yarn comes through and then pull on that loop to tighten that and you can go ahead and leave your stitch marker in there because it'll help us later so now we have our first little foot here so now just go ahead and repeat all of those rounds one more time with another foot and then i will meet you guys back here all right so here we are with our second foot i had just completed the last round with our last single crochet so now we have two little feet here and now what we need to do is just connect them so to start our next round we're going to insert into the first stitch of the last round here where we have our little stitch marker so we're going to take our hook insert into that stitch where the stitch marker is on the other foot pull up a loop and then pull through both of those loops, creating a little single crochet that joins those two stitches. Now I'm just going to go ahead and take this little stitch marker out, and then I'm going to use it to mark that first stitch that we just made, so that we know that this is the first stitch of the next round, which is round five. We're gonna go around this foot, so there should be eight stitches in this foot, so we're gonna go around, this is our first one, and we're gonna place some single crochet, just one single crochet in each stitch. One, two, here's three, four, 
five, six, seven, and eight stitches in that foot. And you can see that we've come around to the end of this one. Save this little tail here because we will be using this for something else here soon. So now we're on our eighth stitch of his little foot. So we need to go back and join into the second foot to work around. So we're going to insert our hook where we left that stitch marker, pull up a loop, and then pull through both of those. Now we're going to place those, keep going and make sure we have eight stitches here. So that's one, here's two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. There's our last stitch there. So now you can see that we have our little feet connected now, but there is a little bit of a space in here. So in this round, we should have 16 stitches all together. But to get rid of this little space here, what we're going to do is take our little tail that we have left over from the first foot. I'm going to pull up this little loop here so we don't lose our spot. And we're going to switch over to the darning needle or the tapestry needle. And we're going to use this tail to just sew closed that little gap that we have. So I'm gonna take the tail and I'm just gonna go into a stitch on the inside of his first foot and slide that through to the inside of the other foot, just like so, and just pull that tail through. And you see it's already closed up that hole, but I do like to do this just a few more times just to make sure that it is extra secure. So you just go back and forth a few times, and once you are happy with it, you can knot it off. And we see here that that's nice and closed there. So let's just go ahead and knot this off. So I'm just going to go into a small spot right up here. Pull the tail through. Leave a little bit of a hole. Pull the tail through the hole. And just pull it to tighten. Now you don't have to cut this tail because it makes perfect stuffing. So just stuff it into whatever side you want on his little feet. And now we are going to take our hook and go back into that last stitch we just worked. And now to start the next round, round six, we're just gonna go ahead and do one single crochet in each stitch. So we should have 16 stitches. So we'll go into this first stitch here, place a single crochet, take our stitch marker out, and put that in our first stitch, starting round six. Go into our next one, place a single crochet, so that's two, three, four, five, and 16. To start round seven, we're gonna put one single crochet, replace our stitch marker, and then we're going to do four more single crochet for a total of five single crochet. So we have one, two, three, four, five. So there's our fifth single crochet. And in the sixth stitch, we're going to increase two single crochet. So we're doing one and then same stitch, one more single crochet. Then we're going to place six more single crochet. We're gonna do one, two, three, four, five, and six. And in this next one, we're going to increase two single crochet. So there's one, same stitch, there's two. And then these last three is just one single crochet for three single crochet. So we do one, two, and three. You should have a total of 18 stitches at the end of this round. For the next round, we're just going to place one single crochet in each stitch all the way around for a total of 18 stitches as well. So there's our first stitch. Replace our stitch marker. 
So there's one, here's two, three, four. So here we are now with our 18 single crochet, finishing up round eight. Now for round nine, we're gonna place five single crochets. So we have one, place our stitch marker. two, three, four, and five. So there's five single crochets. And then we're going to decrease these next two stitches. So we're going to insert our hook into the next one. We're gonna pull up a loop, and then we're gonna go into our next stitch and pull up a loop. And then we're going to yarn over and pull through all three of those loops there. And that's gonna decrease us one stitch. So now we're going to do six single crochet. So we have one, two, three, four, five, and six. Now we're going to decrease over the next two. So insert into that next stitch, pull up a loop, go into the next stitch and pull up a loop yarn over and pull through all three. Then for the next three stitches, we'll just place one single crochet. One, two, three. And that's the end of round nine. To begin round 10, we're going to insert our hook, place a single crochet, replace our stitch marker. We're gonna place two single crochet. So there's one, here's two, then we're going to decrease, insert, pull up a loop, insert and pull up a loop. Then we're gonna place two single crochets, one and two, and decrease. And just keep repeating that all the way around until you get back to the end. Here we are in our last decrease. So you should have a total of 12 stitches at the end of that row. Now before we continue, just go ahead and add some stuffing into this lower body. You want to make sure that his lower legs are definitely filled so they don't look a little weird and disproportionate. So there we got some stuffing in there. And now we can continue. So for the next round, we're going to do one single crochet and decreased four times. So we're going to start our next round. Place one single crochet and replace our stitch marker. There we are. And then we're going to decrease. And then one single crochet, decrease. You should have a total of eight stitches left. So for round 12, we're going to increase into every single stitch and we should end with a total of 16 stitches. So we're going to insert into this first stitch, place a single crochet, replace our stitch marker. Go into the same stitch, place another single crochet for two. Increase again, one, two, so that's three and four, and 16. So there's our 16 stitches, and we are working on the base of the head. Now for row 13, we're just going to single crochet all the way around for a total of 16 stitches. So there's one, two, three, and 16. So there's round 13. Now we're going to place one single crochet and increase all the way around and we should have a total of 24 stitches. So go into that first stitch, place one single crochet, increase in the next stitch. So one, two, and just keep repeating that. So now we're at three, so one single crochet in the next for four, two in the next, five and six, one in the next, seven, two in the next, eight, nine, and 24. 
So there's round 14. And now for two rounds, rounds 15 and 16, we're just going to place one single crochet in each stitch for a total of 24 stitches all the way around. So one, two, and again, just place one single crochet in each stitch all the way around for this round and the next round. And I will meet you back here for round 17. We have just finished row 16, and now for row 17, we're going to insert our hook and place a single crochet and move our stitch marker. And now we're going to do four single crochet and then decrease. And we're going to repeat that pattern all the way around. So here's one, two, three, and four, and then decrease. And then one, two, three, four, and then decrease. And keep repeating that until we get to the end and you should have 20 stitches left. And our last decrease. There we are. Now before we go any further, we're going to go ahead and attach our eyes. So I'm going to pull up a loop here so we don't lose our spot. So we're going to place the eyes between rounds 16 and 17. So in between these two rounds that we just made, and we're going to place them about five stitches apart. So I'm going to insert my first eye here and then count one two three four five my second eye right here all right there are cute little eyes Continuing on, now for round 18, we're going to do two single crochet and decrease, and we're going to repeat that all the way around, and we will end with 15 stitches. One, two, and then decrease, and then two single crochet, one, two, and then decrease. And keep repeating that until you reach the end of the round. So here we are at the end of round 18 and before we continue to round 19 we're gonna go ahead and finish stuffing the rest of the body and the head. So I'm gonna pull up a loop here and we're just gonna stuff this up. Make sure that you get ample stuffing in there so that he's not all lopsided or flopping about. Especially in the neck area you want some good support in there. If you need to stuff it more, you can continue stuffing as you go, but we just wanted to make sure that we got that in the body. So right now our cow is looking a little bit alien-like, <laughs> but it will all come together. It is very much trust the process. So for row 19, we're going to do one single crochet and decrease all the way around, and you should have 10 stitches. So there's one single crochet and decrease. One single crochet. decrease and for our last row we're just going to decrease all the way around and you should end with five stitches for this one I like to take my stitch marker out before I do my next stitch so we have our first decrease and now I'm gonna mark that stitch And then we'll do another one. So that's two, five decreases. Now just go ahead and slip stitch into this first stitch of the round, just like that. And just go ahead and cut this, leaving a little bit of a tail so that we can sew that little hole closed. And we'll pull that through and we'll pull it to tighten. I'm going to take my little stitch marker out here now because we don't need it. And now we're going to take our little darning needle or tapestry needle and we're just going to go ahead and sew this little gap closed to finish off his head and body. Okay. 
and just pull that to close that gap there. And now we're just gonna go ahead and hide this tail. All right, so there is our little cow head and body, and we'll just cut this little tail here. So the next thing we're gonna do is what's called face shaping, and that's going to help this head get closer to the body so that he doesn't look so elongated here. So what we're going to do is take our main color yarn here, and we're just going to go ahead and cut a little bit of a tail. We'll cut about that much from our yarn skein. So now we have this long-ish tail here, and we're gonna take our little darning needle and thread that through. We're gonna start on this side of the head, but we are going to insert our darning needle somewhere on the side of his body here. It doesn't have to be perfect, it's not a perfect science, but we're gonna put it in this row that's right below his body, and we're just gonna put it through that stitch right there. And we're going to pull it until there's just a little bit of that tail left so that we can tie it later. So leave about that much of your tail there. And then we're going to go into this second row from the bottom, from the neck. So right around here, right above where we just inserted the other one. And we're going to sew through that one stitch there. So now we have this kind of attached to the body and the head. What we're going to do is just pull on that, and that's going to bring our head down. But we're not going to pull on this one too much because it's still easy to pull the rest of this tail through, and we don't want to do that. We want to leave that space there. So we're not going to pull on this one too much yet. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go back into that little space, and we're going to bring our needle out right about in the middle of his face here, in the middle of his body. We're going to pull that string. Now we're going to go into the second row again and pull through and go through one of the stitches in the second row and pull that down and pull it to tighten. Going back into the base of that stitch, we're going to go into the side of the body now. And we're going to pull that through. And then we're going to go into the second row again. And so go through one of these stitches here. Pull that through. Pull it to tighten. Go back into the base of that one and come out the back side of our cow here. Pull that through. And again, second row, stitch right up here, pull that through, Oop, some of the velvet came off of the string, it's okay, it happens. We're going to pull that to tighten, that'll pull it down. We're going to go back into the base there again. We're going to go right here where our little tail is, if we can get our darning needle through that stitch, there we go, where our tail is that we left here. We'll go right into there. And now we're just going to go back up here and add one more to this side to pull it down, because you see right now that he's a little bit lopsided. So we want to fix that, so we're going to add one more. So we insert it into that second row again, like we've been doing, and we're just going to pull that real tight so it pulls his head down. And now we're just going to go right back near where this tail is, because now we're just going to sew it off. So I'm going to go into this little stitch here and pull it through. And now all I need to do is just tie these little guys together so that nothing comes undone. So I'm going to make a little knot here. And 
And after you make your knot, just go ahead and hide your tails into the body. So there's one tail. And then we'll go and hide this one. Doing that face shaping, it might seem a little bit confusing, but if you need to, definitely go back and rewind that. And it's not an exact science, so if you're not exactly in the middle, you're off to the side, whatever, you just want four anchor points to kind of bring this head down a little bit so he's not so elongated. But it is definitely much faster than having to sew a whole separate head onto a separate body. So now that we have his head and his body completed, we're gonna work on his little arms. So for the arms, starting with your accent color, we are going to make a magic ring again. And we're going to place three single crochet into our magic ring. So there's one, two, and three. Now we'll pull this ring to tighten it, or close it up a little bit, but don't pull too tight because we still got to work in that first stitch there. Wiggle it out a little bit. And we're going to go into this first single crochet insert our hook and we're going to increase all the way around so here's one add your stitch marker to mark the start of the next round place another one in the same stitch so there's two go into your next stitch place one and same stitch two so now we have four single crochet and go into this last one and place one and same stitch, two. All right, so now we have six single crochet in our magic ring for round two. For round three, we're gonna switch to our main body color. We're gonna insert into that first stitch and pull up a loop. We're gonna grab our main body color and use that body color to finish up that single crochet. We're gonna take our little stitch marker out and replace it. And we're just going to place one single crochet all the way around for a total of six single crochet. So we have one, two, three, and six single crochet. Now is the time that we will turn this guy right side out. And we can also cut that, that accent color. And now for round four and our final round, we will also do just six single crochets all the way around. So here's one. And again, we want to go into this stitch right here just to continue our round, not this one, because this one was our color change here. And it will end up adding an extra stitch if we go in here. So we want to go into this next one here. So there's our second stitch because we have this one right here. So we have the one and then the two. And then three, four, five, and six single crochets. Now just go into this next stitch here and place a slip stitch to finish this off. So there we have that. And now we're going to cut leaving a long tail so that we can sew this onto the body. So that should be pull your hook through to tighten that knot there and tighten it. Now we're just gonna go ahead and make one more of these and I will meet you back here. Now we have both of our arms finished here and we're gonna sew these onto the body. So where we're going to put them is about right below the head where the head meets the body. So about right about there is where we want them to be. So I'm just going to sew through this side part here to attach the arm. I'm just going to rotate it a little bit so that it's how I want it to be. So this is right where I want to put my arm on my cow. And now I'm just going to sew this arm into position. And it might be a little bit difficult to get into that small stitch area. You just have to kind of maneuver it around 
so that you can get into these stitches and sew it on. And once you've gotten it all the way around, then you just want to go ahead and tie off your string. Make sure that we leave this little loop here and don't pull it all the way through. And then take that yarn through that loop that we saved and pull to tighten. And then just hide your tail inside of your body here. All right, and there's our first arm attached. Now just go ahead and do the same thing on this other side here. Now we have his arms sewn onto his body. Now what we're going to make is the horns. These aren't made separately. They are attached to the cow and worked into the cow. So what we're going to do is go to the top of his little head here. Then we see this last round that we made here. And then we see this one round right here. So what we're going to do is place our hook for the left ear and I, or the left horn right through that stitch. And I call it the left horn because the way that you are seeing it right now, it's on the left side of the body. And then this is the right side of the body. It really doesn't matter though. I mean, you can call this the right side and that the left side, whatever. But we just wanna go through that stitch right next to our final round here. And we wanna make sure that it's in the center of the body as best as you can in that midline right there just right above the eye. We're going to go ahead and grab our accent color and we're going to pull that through that stitch right there and chain one to get that secure on the head there. And you can pull on the little tail if you want to to get that a little bit tighter and closer to the head. So now what we're going to do is go ahead and chain three. So we do one, two, three. Now we're going to go right back into that same stitch that we put our hook through to begin with to attach the yarn. So we're just going to go right inside of that stitch again, just like we did before. We're going to pull up some yarn here and just make a quick little single crochet. So pull that yarn through those loops there. So that is our little horn there. So we're going to go ahead and just cut this yarn. And we're going to pull that through and pull this tail to tighten. Now we just got to tie these two strings together. It is pretty important that you don't skip this particular step of tying them together because it really helps bring that horn closer to the body and also makes it just look a lot more complete. So just make a few knots until you're comfortable and then go ahead and hide your tails. All right, so there's his first horn. And now to do the second horn, we're gonna go to the opposite side into this row here and put our hook through. So again, it's kind of slightly above the eye, but a little bit to the side, just like this one, slightly above the eye, a little bit to the side. And hopefully as in the middle, as you can get it in this midline here. So now we have our hook through that stitch there and we're going to grab our accent yarn again. We're going to pull that through and we're just going to do the same thing we did on the other side. So we're going to chain one to attach, pull the little tail to tighten it a little bit if needed. Then we're going to chain one, two, three. We're going to go back into the base of the chain and make a single crochet. Cut the tail again, pull, and tighten, and then go ahead and take these two yarn tails and tie them together. And then hide them just like we did the last one. Alright, now that we have his little horns on, we're going to go ahead and make the ears and then attach them. Using the main body color, we're going to make another magic ring. And we're going to place four single crochet into the magic ring. One and four. Go ahead and close that ring up, but not too tight. Going into this first stitch, we're going to increase into every stitch. So we should end with eight stitches. Place that stitch marker in the first stitch you just made. 
to mark your stitch. Now place one more in the same stitch. So now we have two. Go into the next one and place two. There's three and four and eight. Now what we're going to do is skip this first stitch that we marked with our stitch marker and go into the second stitch of the round and we're going to place a slip stitch. So pull up some yarn and pull that through and that's what's going to curl that little ear inward. So now just go ahead and cut this yarn leaving a little bit of a tail so that we can sew it into the body later. Pull that yarn through and pull to tighten that little knot. Now we have this back yarn here that was part of the magic ring. So we can pull to tighten the magic ring. Let's go ahead and take our stitch marker out. And then I will go ahead and cut the tail. So with the ear, we also don't turn it inside out. We keep it this way. So there's our little ear. Go ahead and make one more of these and then I will meet you back here. So here we are with both of our ears now. And the ears will go in the row just below the horns. So you'll see here that the ear will go right about here. So we have this row in between and we want to attach it to this row. So again, make sure that it's as midline as you can get. And just take your darning needle and go through that stitch there. And so now our ear is like is partially on there and now we're just going to sew them in by going through that bottom two stitches. And then we'll just go down through this row right here, up into the row that we attached it to. So just keep doing that until you are happy with it and it is staying in the right spot that you want it to stay at. All right, so now I'm pretty pleased with this ear, so I'm just gonna go ahead and tie this off. And to do that, I'm just gonna go through this stitch right next to it. Hold the yarn so I have a little bit of a loop Thread the yarn through that loop and pull to tighten and then hide your tail. Now we're going to do the other ear and again we're going to go right to the row below the horns. So we have this row right here so we want to touch the ear right here. So I'm just going to go into that stitch just like so. And then just repeat what you did on the other side by sewing the other ear in. There are our ears on our little cow here. And the last thing that we have to do is make his little mouth muzzle thing. So in our accent color, we're just going to go ahead and make a slip knot. And this is how I make my slip knots. I turn the yarn over into a little loop like so. I put my hook in. And I act like I'm chaining, so I yarn over and pull up. And then I yarn over and pull up one more. And then I go ahead and just pull on that tail. And that makes our little slip knot there. What we're going to do is chain six. So there's one, two, three, four, five, and six. We have six chains. We're going to skip the first chain and into the second chain we're going to place one single crochet. So we're going to go into that chain and place our single crochet. Then we're going to place a single crochet in the next three chains. So there's one, two, and three. There's three single crochets. And in our last chain here we're going to place two single crochets. So we have one and two. For our next round, we're not going to turn our work. We're just going to keep working kind of in this circle motion here. We're going to skip this first part because we already have our two single crochets here. We're going to go into this next stitch and replace one a single crochet. And then we're going to place one single crochet in the next three stitches. So there's one two, and three. And
and in this la in this next stitch here we're just going to slip stitch so that we can close this little mouth off so we just pull up a loop and pull that through the loop that is on our hook currently and this is our little muzzle here so let's go ahead and cut leaving a tail to sew and we're just pull that through and pull to tighten and for our muzzle we just want to place it right below the eyes in the middle of the head as best as you can get it here and we're just going to go ahead and sew that on Now you wanna make sure that you don't see too much of the sewing outside of the muzzle, otherwise it's going to look a little funky almost. And it's kind of hard to make sure that that doesn't happen. But the best way that I've found to do it is to try and not do like straight up and down stitches like this, but to try to kind of go to the side a little bit and come at an angle so that that stitch wraps around the nose like that. All right, now that we have sewn all the way around our little cow here, I'm just gonna go ahead and tie this off. And now I'm just gonna hide the tail. And there we have our cute little adorable low sew cow. I love this project so much because he does only take me about an hour to work up, which is super awesome for being what he is. If you enjoyed this tutorial, be sure to leave it a like to let YouTube's algorithm know that it's a good video and pushes it out to others who would like to see it. Be sure to subscribe because I do come out with a new video every Tuesday. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye for now.